Hi, first graders. We are on Knowledge 8, Lesson 6, Animals of the Tropical Rainforest Habitat. Our first vocabulary word is canopy. Say canopy. Canopy is the top layer of the forest formed by the branches and leaves at the tops of trees. The next word is colonies. Say colonies. Colonies are groups of the same kind of animal or plants living and growing together. And the last word is dense. Say dense. And dense means a lot of things that are closely situated to one another. Hello there, Rattenboro reporting from a fascinating habitat. A habitat that has the greatest variety of plants and animals of any other habitat on Earth. Welcome to the tropical rainforest. Tropical places are warm and wet. A rainforest is a thick forest of plants and stay green year round. So a tropical rainforest is a warm, wet, thick forest of plants that stay green all year. There are tropical rainforests in many places around the world close to the equator, but the one we are visiting is called the Amazon rainforest. It is in South America and is the largest tropical rainforest on Earth. The Amazon rainforest is so dense or thick that a rat like me could easily get lost. It's hot and very humid here. The temperature is always very warm and it rains heavily all year round. My fur is feeling very wet and sticky and it's a good thing that I brought my umbrella. There are between 80 and 240 inches of rainfall here every year. That makes this one of the wettest places you can find on land. Temperate deciduous forests, which you learned about last time, have broadleaf trees that lose all of their leaves in the fall. The Amazon rainforest also has broadleaf trees, but the main difference is that most of the trees here stay green all year round. The evergreen trees in this tropical location replace their leaves gradually throughout the year as the leaves age and fall, so that the trees always look green and never have bare branches like the trees in the temperate deciduous forest. Because the climate here is the same all year round, plants do not need to slow down for cold winter weather, and the animals that live here always have a good supply of food too. Take a look around. The trees in the rainforest are so tall that they grow as tall as 13 story buildings, or as tall as very, very tall buildings in large cities. And some grow much taller than that. I'm standing in a tree right now, and as you can see, the trees grow so thickly and so close together here that from above, you can only see a canopy of thick green leaves. You can't see the forest floor at all. Because the sun's light can't get through the canopy of leaves, everything under them is really dark. I have brought a flashlight to help me see down there. The plants in the Amazon rainforest have adapted to this climate in many ways. Because it is so dark in the rainforest underneath the canopy, most plants have large leaves so they can catch as much light as possible. Many of the plants have waxy leaves with ends that are tapered or that get smaller toward the ends to help the water drip off them, like, a, uh, like the water running off of an umbrella. Many types of vines grow in the rainforest. Vines are climbing plants that grow on trees or wind themselves around tree trunks. Many animals use the vines growing among the trees, almost like sidewalks and ladders, to cross from one tree to another. The rainforest floor is a very shady place, which means it is a good habitat for mosses and fungi that don't need much sunlight. If you can believe it, there are even some plants that don't need any light at all to grow. They grow on the forest floor and they get their energy from the rotting leaves instead of the sunlight. I'm way up in a particular type of tree found in the Amazon rainforest called a kapok tree. So high that you won't be able to see me. The kapok tree is one of the tallest trees around. The kapok has a very long trunk and its branches and leaves form a canopy over the plants and animals below, making it a good shelter for animals like birds, snakes, and monkeys. There are also many different kinds of animals that call the Amazon rainforest home. Many types of interesting and colorful birds, frogs, insects, reptiles, and other animals live in the trees and other plants of the tropical rainforest. These huge toucans use their large beaks to cut fruit from branches and to eat lizards as well as other birds. Macaws, which are a kind of parrot, travel in groups and use their hooked beaks 
to break into hard nuts and fruits. And you don't want to get too close to the poison arrow frog, which has poisonous skin to protect it from predators. I'm back in the kapok tree, one of the very tallest trees in the forest, to see what kinds of animals call this habitat home. Over there I can see a squirrel monkey. The squirrel monkey is a very friendly little animal, and it shares a lot of things in common with the squirrels that live in the temperate deciduous forest. The squirrel monkey is very small and has a very long, thin tail that it uses to help balance. It has strong legs that it uses to jump and run, and claws that help it climb up and down trees and vines. In fact, squirrel monkeys are so good at traveling by leaping and running along branches that they hardly ever touch the forest floor. The squirrel monkey is an omnivore. Do you remember what an omnivore is? It's an animal that eats both plants and other animals. It eats insects, fruit, and flowers, and spends most of its time during the day moving around the forest to find food. The squirrel monkey has excellent eyesight, which is useful for finding small insects, fruit, and berries growing among the green leaves of the tropical rainforest trees. Squirrel monkeys live in large groups, making it harder for their predators, eagles and snakes, to get them. Now this monkey is acting a little strange, and experience has told me that this kind of behavior usually means there's trouble on the way. Aha! Yes! Look who's coming! Some kind of snake. Snakes also tend to eat rats, so I'm going to climb a bit higher and take a look from the distance. Wow! Look at the size of this snake! It's a boa constrictor! one of the many kinds of snakes that live in the Amazon rainforest. It's a pretty big snake. This one is about 13 feet long. Boas can have slightly different coloring and patterns on their skin, but they are well camouflaged in the trees, plants, and vines of the forest. This boa constrictor, like all snakes, is a carnivore. It eats other animals such as bats, which are its favorite food, rodents, Yes, rats included, lizards, birds, and even the small squirrel monkeys. The boa constrictor is mostly nocturnal, so it comes out to hunt when it's getting dark, like now. Snakes can eat animals that are much bigger than they are. This boa's jaws open very, very wide so that when it finds an animal to eat, even animals such as birds and squirrel monkeys, it will be able to swallow it whole. The boa constrictor is not the only carnivore in the rainforest. In fact, it will have to watch out that it doesn't become dinner for a hungry jaguar, like this one. Jaguars look a lot like leopards. They have tan fur with dark spots, but they are bigger than leopards, with shorter tails and legs and bigger heads and paws. The jaguar is about 7 feet long and probably weighs around 200 pounds. Jaguars are very well adapted to living in the rainforest. They have very sensitive hearing and an excellent sense of smell. A jaguar can see very well during the day and also at night. All these things make it easier for it to find, stalk, and catch its prey. I can barely hear the jaguar moving through the forest. That's because its paws are covered with very thick fur with pads on the bottom. Because they can travel so quietly, jaguars don't have to run far to catch their prey. So instead of having long legs for running, they have short, strong legs that are good for pouncing or suddenly attacking other animals from the ground, from trees, or in the water. A jaguar spends most of the day resting and goes out to hunt at night. It's also very good at climbing trees, which means I should get out of here before it's able to sniff me out. I've moved to the forest floor near the bottom of the kapok tree because there's one last very interesting animal that I want to show you. We better hurry, it's getting dark, and I might have to use my flashlight. These are leaf cutter ants. These ants burrow underground and make nests and groups called colonies. Different ants in the colonies have different responsibilities. There are worker ants, soldier ants, and their queen. The worker ants are traveling to the kapok tree nearby will, where they will use their sharp jaws to bite off pieces of the leaves to bring back to the nest. Did you know that ants can carry up to 10 times their own body weight? That's pretty amazing, isn't it? The soldier ants are there to protect the worker ants on their way to and from the nest. These ants spent most of their lives working for food. Nature is amazing, isn't it? Well, it's really quite dark now and my fur has been sticking to me since we got here, so I think it's time to leave the hot and humid Amazon rainforest. 
we've learned a lot about this exotic habitat, its climate, and the plants and animals that have their homes here. Now for somewhere really different. The end. You may now go ahead and click on the Google form to answer the questions about today's read aloud.